are the spring. I tend to like to dress up, and I like hats, so I thought it was wonderful finding a bunch of women that would actually go out in public and wear hats again. Red Hat Society members strictly adhere to the verses of a poem titled Warning that touts the eccentric excesses of growing older. The poem says, when I turn old, I'll wear a purple dress with a red hat and that doesn't go. And I'll do things like sit on the curb when I'm tired and hoard pens and pencils and beer mats and things in boxes. I don't want to shock my friends when I get old and do this all of a sudden when suddenly I am old and start to wear purple. And so I better start now. So we're starting now. But starting out in the society isn't easy because red hats are hard to find at the store. That's some of the things we do when we get together is we share how you found your hat. Some have created their hat. They had to either dye it or paint it or cover it with uh, sparklies. I feel very color uncoordinated wearing a dark suit amid this scarlet sisterhood. But the members' funky fashion statement really draws attention whenever they step out on the town. But the quizzical looks of those on the street quickly turn to grins when they encounter the purple people. You're looking at us strangely. No, we assumed you're all in some little... <laughs> I think it's our goal in life is to make people smile. And most people are very curious and they, they do smile. The women of the Red Hat Society leave a lasting impression wherever they show up. They're proving to the world that middle age, much like the red hats they wear, is a crowning achievement. With I am Kelloland, I'm Perry Grove. Now women under 50 aren't discriminated against. They can also join the Red Hat Society. They're known as wannabes and have to wear pink and lavender. The Red Hat Society will hold its first statewide convention next week in Pierre. South Dakota B Baseball's defending champ opens state play in Mitchell. Travis Botsing has all the highlights next.